So do you want to share your Ethereum address with someone to receive Ethereum from them? Or are you withdrawing Ethereum from an exchange like Binance to your own wallet and you need to set up your own wallet and generate a Ethereum address to do so? So you've come in the right place. The first thing we need to do is to get a good wallet. You can see over here, I have a trust wallet over here, but for Ethereum, I think MetaMask is a good wallet. So I'll go to the app store and I will simply look for MetaMask. Let me get MetaMask over here. I also like Obvious Wallet a lot and I use that often. So if you like, you can also use the Obvious Smart Wallet. The good thing about Obvious Smart Wallet is that you can pay your gas fees in any token of choice. So even if you are on the Ethereum chain, you can pay your gas fees in USDT. So that's a benefit of using uh, Obvious. But today, let us look at MetaMask. So my MetaMask is here and I will generate uh, Ethereum wallet address using MetaMask. Now, once I have MetaMask, there is a process to set it up. I need to generate my secret recovery phrase as well and keep it safe. So we'll go through that process. So let's get started. Now over here, I can either create a new wallet or I can import my wallet with a secret recovery phase. So let's create a new wallet. Very important that uh, you do this activity with focus. You could also do this activity without internet. So if I just switch off my Wi-Fi, I can still go ahead and generate my uh, wallet address. So I'll click create a new wallet. I'll agree to the MetaMask terms, which will show up over here. And then I need to first create a password. This password is to basically just secure this app on your device. This is not your blockchain recovery key or your private keys. These are just a password to keep your wallet safe on this device. So I'll just enter a password. I hope you will enter a much more secure password than me. And I have enabled unlock with touch ID, touch ID, face ID, both of them will work if you have a latest iPhone. Now the next thing is to secure my wallet. And to do this, never click remind me later, do this now. You cannot, I cannot stress how important it is to do this activity now. Basically, you need to write down your secret recovery phase, phrase. And these are 12 words which you need to write on a piece of paper, keep multiple copies of it, don't store it digitally, you will lose your crypto assets. So remember, don't show this on camera like me, don't be stupid at all. So I am now, noting these words so that I can move on with my account uh, installation or account setup. But remember, uh, these keys or these words have to be stored in the same order as you are seeing them. If you store them in the wrong order, you can say goodbye to your crypto assets. So I have noted these seed phrases now and I will click continue. MetaMask is smart. They want me to verify that I have them in the same order. So I will quickly just verify the order as well. And now that I've confirmed all of them in the same order as they were generated, I can say complete backup. Now MetaMask knows I have stored these key, keys or seed phases securely and I can click done and get into my wallet. MetaMask wants to automatically uh, enable security checks. Nobody should say no to that. And I will say no thanks for anything else. Now you'll see by default, the network I am on is the Ethereum main network. We can also enter other networks. Now you have to be very sure when you are sharing your Ethereum address, on which network do you want to receive fees? On the Ethereum main network, the gas fees are high. If you want your address, it is right here. You can just click share my public address and you'll get a share key over here. Or you can just copy your address over here and your address is ready to be shared with someone. What does it look like? Let me just show it to you. If I paste my address, it looks something like this. And um, that this will be the address that you will enter on an exchange or share with someone to receive funds. Remember, uh, this address is case sensitive. So you uh, do not try to write it yourself. Always copy and paste it or share it as a QR code. Uh, otherwise, you would be in trouble. Now, if you want to receive funds in some other chain, so you want to receive funds, say, in Polygon or Optimism chain, where the gas fees are less, that you could do that by adding new networks. One more thing, if you are receiving Ethereum on the Ethereum chain, that is great. Ethereum is how you pay gas fees for doing anything on Ethereum. But if you are, um, say, receiving USDT on Ethereum, you can receive it for sure on your wallet. But when you want to spend it, you will need to have some Ethereum balance as well to pay your gas fees. And to avoid these kind of issues, 
uh, you could use something like an obvious wallet or a smart contract wallet which lets you pay gas fees in um, any token of your choice so if i create a smart wallet over here in obvious i'll give you a link to download obvious below uh, i could uh, bypass this issue but if i just go to say polygon and i add polygon as a network over here so i will say add network add polygon and let's switch to polygon main net over here within polygon matic is the gas fees i can import other tokens so i can just say give me usdt um, and i will import it in matic i can also say import tokens and i can say give me eth so i can get wrapped eth as well uh, inside matic wrapped ether is right here i can get that as well generally what i do is i go and check the contract addresses for these things on coin gecko so if I go to CoinGecko, I want to receive Ethereum somewhere. I want to make sure I've entered the right network so, or right token. So I would just make sure that I have entered the right Ethereum network on my MetaMask. So over here, you can see that um, if I want to add this to my wallet, I can just say MetaMask. So on MetaMask, I'll go to Wrapped ETH and uh, I can see, okay, this is Wrapped ETH. The value is right and uh, I can see on which chains these are supported and Polygon is right here. I can just copy the contract address and I can make sure I'm entering the right network or right chain. I can make sure I'm entering the right token inside my Polygon network on MetaMask. So I would just verify the contract address over here. What I could also do is um, just see the token details. The contract address ends with F619, is it the same here, F619? Okay, I've entered the right one. So I know that this WETH is right. Now to receive any of these tokens, Matic, USDT, or Wrapped Ether on the Polygon chain, I need to share the same address over here. All of them have the same address. In fact, uh, even on the Ethereum chain, if I'm on the same account in MetaMask, my address remains the same. But on which chain you are receiving it is important for you need to know how the gas fees has to be paid. So if I receive wrapped Ethereum or USDT over here, I will need Matic to pay my gas and gas fees are pretty less on Polygon network. So that is often used for receiving and sending uh, small amounts of uh, Ethereum or other crypto assets. Again, crypto assets are extremely dangerous to trade. I hope what you're doing, I hope this wallet tutorial was helpful for you. If you have questions, I'm in the comments box and I hope you have liked this video to support me.